benefits of the top tier palletizing solution uh, often outweigh or prove to be superior to a traditional robotic approach. And we'll try to demonstrate as many of those uh, benefits today throughout our live demonstration. And so with that, Juan, let's, uh, let's get things going. So the key advantages to the top tier solution are many. The biggest is concurrent stretch wrapping. So we're able to stretch wrap loads concurrently while we're palletizing them. Top tier also offers the smallest footprint palletizer on the market. With our modular design, we have a very high level of layout flexibility, not requiring customization. And of course, top tier leads the industry in standard safety standards. So this overhead view of the palletizer we're running today is our low in-feed row pre-build palletizer with concurrent stretch wrapping. You can see the stretch wrapper module on the upper left occupies a very small additional footprint to the palletizer. This is a fully automatic layer conditioning palletizer. We've got our pallet dispenser at the top, load exit conveyor to the right. And as we palletize and build these loads, we'll be able to see those various uh, components functioning. So let's go to the in-feed view here. We've got cases coming in at the far end through our meter belt. That meter belt is where we're going to tie into your upstream production line. After that meter belt, we have a turn area. This particular unit is configured with a bump turn device, which is by far our most common device for turning. Once we have a full row completed, we're going to push that row out onto the pre-build lift deck. This is what we're seeing there. Our lift deck will elevate to meet the layer head, sweep that product out onto the layer head to form a layer, condition that layer on all four sides, and go back up to receive product for that next layer. So this overhead view again is showing layer formation. We can see our pallet load being stretch wrapped between layer deposit. So we're using that layer head to accumulate product for the next layer. At the same time, we're stretch wrapping below. This angle is looking into the load build area from the stretch wrapper module with the turntable in the build area, we're able to rotate and stretch wrap loads as we're forming layers directly above on the layer head. The throughput capabilities of top tier layer conditioning palletizers are typically gonna be about one to three layers per minute on the low end feed and up to five layers per minute on the high end feed layer conditioning palletizers. This row pre-build unit is our kind of mid-speed configuration up to about a layer and a half per minute, including stretch wrapping. We're doing our wrap finish sequence at the moment. You'll notice that while we're doing the wrap finish sequence, we're still building uh, a layer directly above. So product induction is uninterrupted during our pallet exchange, which is what we're seeing here. So there's no downtime associated with the stretch wrapping and pallet exchange. So we're gonna see a, an empty pallet come into the build area. So here we're gonna pay stretch film over the empty pallet. So by, by paying the film out on the empty pallet under layer one, we're actually using the weight of the product as a film clamp. So we're getting rid of a film tail in the process of doing that. So after we 
deposit layer one on that new empty pallet, we're just continuing to palletize. Bringing single cases into rows, rows onto the lift deck, and then out onto the layer head. So you can see as the palletizer continues to build that, that next load, we have a full finished load at the discharge. It's already stretch wrapped and contained. So it's just waiting to get picked up by a fork truck. We have the option to extend the discharge conveyor and provide additional full load accumulation zones. The configuration we're showing here with the discharge conveyor and the load build effectively has two full loads of accumulation. Looks like we're going up, we're gonna deposit layer five on this load, so that'll be the last layer of the load. Notice again the four side conditioning every time. The loads are going to be tighter and more secure compared to a traditional robotic approach. So we're doing our finish wrap sequence at the moment. I'm gonna cut that film. And the loads are just waiting to get picked up by a fork truck. So